Uh, I think we're good to go now. All right. So I have played some of this game before. Uh, I never finished it. I got like maybe 20 hours in or so. So I know a little bit of the stuff that happens at the beginning, at least the high points. Uh, it was about a year and a half ago, so it's been a while. So let's go with new game. Um, battle difficulty, we'll go with, um, we'll go with moderate for now. And we'll go short, short input buffer window, subtitles on. Uh, that's probably all fine. Yeah. Um, map camera rotation speed. I think we'll leave it. We'll leave these things normal for now. Cause I don't know uh, how it's going to be. How's the, how's it sound right now? Is it too quiet? It looks a little quiet. Uh, maybe we, we just bump it up all of them to five. If it's too loud, we can always turn it down. I'd rather it be too loud, honestly, than too quiet. Um, for the beginning stuff, because there's a lot of story at the beginning, so. What's up, TZ? Um, Alright, let's do it. Alright, something fucked up's happening already. What the hell was that? Oh, they're spelling demons that way in this game. D-A-E-M-O-N-S. I wonder what the deal with that is. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, the Tell the Tales games have like full on anime animated cutscenes. They're pretty they're pretty good. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will. Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? Uh -uh. I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. <laughs> it's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. <laughs> Well, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, so I don't really remember what's happening here at all. So maybe I spoke too soon about remembering the high points. Okay, he's a werewolf? Or is that a demon? I mean, they're probably demons. That's probably what they're considered. Arthur, help us! Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, she was dreaming. Pretty sure that's our main character. Furry problem? Yeah, probably. Oh, shit. Okay. Do we play here? I don't remember. I don't think we do. No, I think it's just a cutscene. Well, we know that's the main character because of the cutscene we watched at the beginning. The world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits. 
hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Okay. Fluffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Sounds squishy. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. So that's the same girl from the cutscene we just watched. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. Same dude from earlier. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle vores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. Oh, this must be our intro quest. Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey, what's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. All right, I think we're getting to it now. Okay, uh, well, we're going to use a controller, so... I think everything is fine on there. Uh, oh, I think it was just showing us the controls. We weren't... We weren't remapping them or anything. So we're in a ball, the village of Longing. Okay. Um, is the is the sound okay? I the the uh the dialogue seemed like it was fine. I hear the in-game music seems really quiet though. The menu seems like it's okay too. The in-game music might be like it's really quiet in my ears too. So maybe it's just really quiet in the game. Fashion. Can I change things already? Oh, I can. Nope, you actually, it's actually locked right now, so no, you can't. Okay. All right, well, um, let's go. Oh, item. Tarnished silver coin, okay. Um, okay, so the camera, I see what the, the camera adjustment was. It is kind of slow going around right now. We might turn that up a little bit. Just checking for loot. Might be some, oh wait, is it gonna open that? No. Uh, okay, I guess there's no loot up here. Uh, we can talk to our to uh, Lafacet though. Rest up, all right. Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. All right, cool. Let's go. I believe we're gonna hunt some prickle boars. All right, mini map. Mini map is showing your current surroundings displayed in the upper left of the screen. You can use it to check your location next to objective shops and more. The area map to press X to display that so you see the whole area then. Easy enough. Current objectives in the top right. And you can press RB to display the current main story objective in the upper right. Additionally, the event list on the area map displays objectives and progress in both main if I'm on the and side quests probably. Wars, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This right. is for Luffy's medicine. So I can't mess this up. Alright. So there's okay, this is the, the big map, and this is the little map. In the top right. So I think my face in the bottom left is fine then. So we got some nutmeg. I, I'm not sure like if you're collecting these like random items around the map for like crafting purposes or what, but it looks like they just appear as shiny, so they should be easy to find. When we come across them, at least. So let's uh head up on here, find out some prickle boars, get into first fight. So Tell's combat isn't turn based. It's kind of like a kind of like action based um you're just constantly fighting it's pretty cool um if you've never seen it you'll uh we'll uh, get into something here soon i think i wonder if all of the interactions are voice acted they are not okay 
So I think that the only people you need to talk to in the game have the exclamation points above their head. Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? Wow, that's fucked up. How can you I didn't know that? I didn't know it was her sister. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Alright, so whatever that whatever happened at the beginning. Stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to talk first. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Okay, anyways, um, what I was going to say was whatever that event was we watched at the beginning, um, that must have been the opening, and that caused the Demon Blight to occur, from what I'm gathering. Uh, wait, what does Y do? What is this? Oh! Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it! I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Selica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. So I'm pretty sure the Tells games have always had these little like conversation pieces in them. Uh, and once we get more characters, they'll all, all be included in the conversations and, and whatnot. I think I want to turn the audio up a little bit though. So one second. Go. Like, right. Just a little bit, see if that, that uh, helps a little bit. Because it seems like the, the dialogue might be a little quiet compared to my voice, especially. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafisset feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisset's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I wonder how long ago the event was. They probably already said it and I wasn't, I, didn't, I missed it. But I also wonder, is Luffy our brother or like, like our actual like blood brother or adopted brother? Um, this seems to be a shop. Yep. Okay. So we can buy some apple gels. We have three of them already. We have 200 gold. So it's not gold. Uh, we'll just buy, we'll just spend the money. It's fine. We'll get two more. I, I believe that's the healing item in the game anyway. So we probably should keep that. Um, this is a... Oh, okay, I forgot about this. So the game has save points. Okay, additionally, you're exploring the field. You can create a quick save by pressing a button that I will not see now. Um, so these are my previous saves you can see right there. So what we're going to do, a new save. Boom. All right. And this is... Oh, an exit. Um, can we... Let's go up here to the other question or, uh, exclamation point real quick and see what they have to say, though. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Imperians for forgetting the old prayers. Okay. Who are the Imperians? The four Imperians created the world. The one Imperian shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! My god, alright. Alright then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. 
If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Okay. So she's 16 right now. All right, so we got a chipped copper coin. I, I don't know how old she was in the in the original, but she was like a, a little, little kid then. So in the original cutscene, I should say. All right, so if we do this, okay, we don't know. So you have to actually go through the areas to actually see where they go then. Um, let's just go to this one and see what happens. I'm assuming it was the wrong way. She'll say, hey, got to turn around. Mm, okay, we're in the tranquil woods. So there should be a prickle boar here somewhere. Now, in obvious fashion, we have to go down each pathway to see if we find anything. But I don't seem to be able to go down this pathway. So we're going to go this way for now. This area looks promising. I don't think putting the combat on moderate will be a problem. Um, if anything, it still might be too easy. Because I don't remember this game being overly difficult. Um, and I remember bumping up the difficulty a few times with my first playthrough. There! Pricklebore! Okay. Combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each character currently possesses. We have three. Uh, so, BYA and... Use combinations of BYA and X to perform three a combo. Okay. I did something. Alright, Rising Moon. Okay, by stunning, defeating, or inflicting status elements upon enemies, you can get souls allowing for more combos. Uh... Uh, how do I stun somebody? Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, so we have three right now. And I'm assuming we get a longer combo. I wonder if this is like a specific stunning ability you can use. Oh, we got four now. So now we have we have another we have an additional attack, I think. Do we need to let these build up? No, we don't. Okay. Well, we got prickle bore, prickle bore meat. Um, contacting with an enemy while on the field will initiate a battle. Victory is achieved by attacking your opponents. If you feel you're in, in an unwinnable battle, you can run towards the edge of the battlefield to cause the escape gauge to rise. All right, you can't flee from battles with red borders. Yeah, All right. That's how it's done. Oh, the stars are our prickle boars, probably. Okay. So that's all we're doing right now. We're gonna go hunt some boars and go back. I'm going to assume. I think if I remember correctly, things start to escalate pretty quickly. We got a chipped copper coin. And there's a chest here also. All right, so it's like we can avoid battles if you just do that. All right, there's some apple gel also. Uh, these kinds of treasure chests can be found in various places in the world. Each contains different kinds of items. Copper chests have consumables. Silver, ch silver chests have standard equipment. And gold chests have exceptional equipment. Oh, there's a Y. Uh, we have a conversation to have also. All right, so arts use up the soul gauge. When SG drops to zero, you can still attack, but you'll be knocked back if you try to defend. Okay, hold on. We got an extra star. Uh, did, did I do it? No. Okay, we're in the red. That's bad. Okay. So use LB to defend. Defending your decreases damage from enemies, but also greatly depletes the soul gauge. Uh, it also resets the camera position. That's actually the best, the most useful part of this, probably. Right here goes. Right here goes. Oh, what are we doing? Your foes and strike where they're weak. Uh, hold on a second. It's like forcing me to fight this one. Do you, can you switch that or hold on? Oh, that's uh, for, for allies maybe? Oh wait, can you dodge? Hold on. Oh shit. It, it costs uh, part of your gauge then. Okay. Uh, hold on a second here. I want to do... Okay, so we were in semi-auto. We want to do manual, I think. I don't like being controlled. And these are our arts. Okay, okay, I see what's happening now. And then we have we, we so you can like customize these, and then like make we have a also another tier down here we didn't do yet. And then here's the ones we have open right now. And then apparently there are mystic arts, which are probably like magic or something. Okay, okay, so now we can just bounce around all we want. It's not like forcing us to look at a certain enemy. It seems like they're all the same. Uh, all our combos might be the same right now. <laughs> huh. 
So if we like tap this, we can like, oh, we can like dash around while we're fighting. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Uh, using arts when you have no SG comes with a number of detrimental effects. Combo speed is slower and combos are more easily broken. Attacks are more easily guarded against and attacks that are guarded will be deflected. Okay, so basically don't attack unless you absolutely have to when you have no soul gauge. Um, and take advantage of, of stunned enemies. All right, that makes sense. That's pretty straightforward, I think. All right. Shiny. Got an ore fragment. You probably can craft stuff in this game. Uh, can I? Wait. Uh... The cold weather's been oh. terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkleboars. Oinkleboars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Pigglebore. <laughs> That's a cute name. I feel like her demeanor is going to change though. very dramatically. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Based off that opening uh, scene. So can I break this or we we can't go through here right now, maybe? It's not giving me like a like a like an action button, so let's go ahead and save. Was this my save? Yes. Okay. Oh, boar. And that looks like where that person died at. Okay. Well, uh, let's go. Right, here goes. We need to set our combos up. I'll take some time and do that. We don't really have a, a large variety right now, but I think we still should go do it. Okay, we got an extra star right there. So now we can do our full combos. Or maybe like, they might, wait, they might be five part combos, not four. So maybe not quite the full combo, but we have that extra attack now. Should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Uh, we probably let's go. Let's go look at this. There's a there's an exclamation point. So something interesting might happen. Also, there might be loot up here somewhere. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. Okay, so this hole was here before that event called the opening. So the opening was not the opening of this hole. It was it was just the spread of the demon blight, maybe. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any. Oh, there is one. Look at that. Got another chip, chip chopper, co chipped copper coin. Um... All right, that looks like that's all for right here. All right, let's head back. That was easy enough. I mean, it's just like to get warmed up, I think, though. The tutorial area, I guess you could call it. Oh, I wonder if save points heal you also. It looks like they do based off that little green animation that happens. I haven't played a game with save points in a while. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't fight this thing again. I think we're getting XP from these fights anyway. So that's the the, uh, the little circular bar is their health bar, and I'm guessing the two stars is how many stars you can steal from them. Wait, what was that? Oh, you can identify them? Oh, cool. We actually, is it worth doing this right now? Oh, they're all the same. Oh, all right. Um, so there's indicators beside them. I wonder if the, what those mean. I wonder if tearing thorn is like a stun ability because it's yellow and then these are just basic abilities maybe. Um, let's, let's change this one to, so all wise, let's think. So I'm mashing X the most, I think. So let's change B. Let's do, um, oh, okay, I see how it works. Oh, certain attacks are better against certain enemies, too, it looks like. Okay, um, 
Oh, and times used. You level them up, it looks like, based on how many times you use them. Okay. So let's do... Um, somersault kick. Well, we don't want to start with that, I don't think. Let's do harsh rebuttal. Um, slicing foot. Rising moon. Uh, tearing thorn. Just, like, swap up our, our order for that one for right now. Just to see how that works out. There's probably like optimal combos to use, I'm sure. And we'll probably figure those out as we go. That way I can use, now I can use Rising Moon um, faster than before. Oh. Oh, okay, this changes, okay. That one's paralyzed, I think. Oh, wait a second. Does the dash count as an attack? It does, I think. Not bad. I can't have that. Oh, I can. There we go. A comfrey. Oh, shit. Where'd it go? Wait, what? Oh, there it is. I wonder if you can, like, sneak up on enemies. Did it just heal itself? What did it just do right there? Not bad. Oh, we leveled up. Cool. Did we learn anything new? Oh, these are just our our our, uh, our gear right, or our, yeah, that's our current gear. Uh, we can't change our fashion yet. We looked at that already. So arts. Did we learn anything new? No. Oh, you must be able to jump. Oh, you, there's a shortcut. You could jump down from right there, I bet, if you break that rock. Oh, shit. What They're out for revenge. The boars I hunted. Are you there? Maxim three. Never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. All right, we're fighting five of them then? Oh shit, we are, okay. Um, hidden arts focus on damage and attack range, but use more of your soul gauge than the material arts. S steering edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploring your enemy's weak spots. Select arts from the battle menu and then set steering edge to A, then press A to use it. Uh, okay, that's not it, this is it. Arts, okay. Um, okay, steering edge. Do, do we wanna do like a follow-up though to it? Probably, um, Let's do that. So it's on A, so it'll be forward. Okay. Um, then throw Rising Moon on there, and then just do Gouging Spin. Or no, hold on. I want to do... Let's do Gouging Spin, Daring Thorn. Oh, okay. Is it... In a, okay. So it is kind of like a magic attack. Okay, it's not going too well now. There we go. So I need to put Steering Edge as like a later ability too in one of the combos. That way we can pop it out later on. But I feel like it's probably better as a follow-up attack. That's an evil pig. Cirrus. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Uh, what is he doing? That's not normal. Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down. 
even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I would hope so. That's a lot of meat. I think. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. Oh, great. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Uh... Why? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, uh, I wonder if it's the anniversary of her dying. Back. I'll make you a quiche, just the way she oh. taught me. Apparently Arthur likes quiche. This dude is sketchy as fuck already. So I'm guessing something bad is going to happen with him. All right. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then how would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Eh? She feels regret for killing the boars? I think that's pretty normal. She killed a lot of them. Um, so let's do harsh rebuttal, slicing foot, rising moon. Let's throw a searing edge at the end of this one. Just so we have it somewhere else. Um, so the five star, so four, I, I guess four hit combos are the, are the, the longest combo you can actually do then it looks like. Um, oh, look at that. That's how they interconnect with the lines right there. All right. So is there anything else? I'm going to leave everything else can stay the same for right now. I'm assuming once we level up a few more times, we'll get some more abilities to add to the bar there. We're not talking to her again. She was angry. I wonder if that's the girl that was in the tree with us. For groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. <laughs> good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You want to do something about your style, then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. That's very obviously something they want sure, us to buy. I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Laffy Set. Oh, Velvet, I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Look at all those potions right there. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. Oh, Arthur was Silica's husband. Okay. 
Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Dude, what is with these fucking people? Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Was it the comb? Yeah, these people just like throw Alex, her family's death you in her didn't face. Forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious. Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? Oh my God. Okay. The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. <laughs> All right. So when is everybody gonna die in this village? Because I feel like that's inevitable at this point. Luffy must be starving by now. Can we pet the puppy? Oh, Orthy. Orthy and Russ. And Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. They're all gonna They're die. Hopeless. Calling it. Maybe, but they're so cute, so I forgive them. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. <laughs> even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on! Oh shit, there's a think silver big. chest right in front of us right Dream, there. Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Alright, what do we got here? We got a resistance ring. Okay, throw that on. It, what does it do? R a ring that raises art defense. Okay, cool. Um, I wonder if there are other chests that are hidden in the village. Like this one right here. Apple gel, we need that. Uh, oh. And some more nutmeg and leeks. Oh, I think you eat in this game. I think you make meals and that's why you need the food. All right, let's uh, let's head on back to our house. Talk to Laffy, see how he's doing. Probably not that great, if I had to guess. Oh, wait, hold on, shiny. Got a, some more nutmeg actually. All right, our village loves nutmeg apparently. Something, oh, I thought something bad was gonna happen. Oh, it's her, her, uh, tombstone. Hi, Sarica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, shit. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have, too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the cape tomorrow. Okay, so we saw Arthur standing in front of Celica, who was like floating in the air, like pierced by like a cross looking thing. So not only did she die, so did her, her kid. Uh, well, wait, was I supposed to go? Okay, never mind. I thought she said something about getting flowers, and I thought I had to go get them, but not right now. All right, let's go in. I feel like Arthur killed them, but I, I don't know. That'd be really fucked up, right? He, kill, he would kill his like 
wife and his child, really. Welcome home, Velvet. Fluffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's what this? Oh shit. A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Okay. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. It was on the See, merchant's uh it's table. It's to stay level. So your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? What the hell are those? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. I wonder what's wrong with him. Or if we ever find that out. Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, All right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Wait a second. What, what are the uh, upstairs then? The uh, exclamation points? Oh, potato. Okay. That wasn't the exclamation point. That was, what is that about? Oh, on the table. Okay. Uh, observations on the Nameless Empyrean. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Okay, and then we also have... The day before Scarlet Night. Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. Oh, it's She's a journal. She's as good a fighter as Arthur. So I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. What? Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so we're gonna light the fire? Oh, that was easy. Okay. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet, could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice oh. upstairs, isn't there? All right, let's get some food. Uh, oh, there you okay. go. Not spicy hot, but oh, so delicious. Oh, yeah. I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah. We've known each other since forever. I don't see things working so, out for Lafayette. Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Lafi, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? Uh, 
girl? <laughs> hmm. You're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> oh no. <gasps> Luffy, uh oh, wrong? that's not good. Wrong room. Wait a second, hold on. Oh wait, is there, is there a room? Is there a bed up here? Okay, there is a bed up here. I, all right, this must be. I wonder if this is where Arthur stays at, and then this is Velvet in uh, Laffy's rooms down here. Uh, there's nothing to really tell. Oh, there's a little 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 animal thing right there. Look at that, kind of cute. All right, all right. Let's talk to Laffy. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. That's not good. As long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. All right, he's not dead yet. Uh, let's make some stew. Uh, wait, where are we? Where are we doing this at? Oh. Well, that was easy enough. All right, he's going back to bed. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Oh, we still had some left. Okay. Well, I did promise. That was unclear. I thought he might have been out. I wonder how they're treating him. A scarlet night. What? Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. That sounds uh foreboding. Um, Velvet. May I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Wait. Was that Laffy with us? The It seemed like the kids were like the same age that were under the tree together. But I guess he had to be somewhere. I, I don't know. R regardless. Oh god. That was really loud for some reason in my ears. All right, so nothing bad's happening yet. <sighs> okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? Oh, shit. Where the hell did he go? All right, here we go. Things are going to start going bad now, I'm guessing, if he's gone. Being that he's in such great health. Where have you gone? not have gone to the village alone uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down I wonder how they're treating him for something if we don't even know what was wrong with him like what are they giving him um there's like no one to talk to here okay cutscene hey has Luffy set been here uh no I haven't seen him Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Oh, he he uh, transcribed it. Lafayette, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. 
No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. Uh, He's a good lad. Yeah, nice kid. Not the merchant type. This so, dude sucks, so... What did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Seriously, dude? The kid's like dying and you're not oh, gonna tell her? I saw Loppy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. Of course, why wouldn't he? For him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. All right, Loffy, please don't be dead. Uh, oh, we have people to talk to now. Okay. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Oh, well, you know how they always say that animals know things are going to happen before they do. I feel like that's what's happening right now. Um, so he might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. I guess we'll see. It is supposed to be a Scarlet Night, which I'm guessing has some other meaning besides just being red outside or something like that. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. I wonder if he's always been sick. Difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better. I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry and be lonely. We could always just go with him. Might as well save. Is it the old lady? No, it's this dude. Okay. The old lady's going to yell at us again, probably. What's up, Dalton? Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot. That doesn't sound like it's going to be a good night. Me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Seriously? There's two paths here. Like, he either went that way or he went this way. And also... Oh, you, oh, you have me muted? That's fine. Um, okay, so... Um, he, he could have went two different ways. I'm assuming he went this way, obviously. But he stopped and told the dude about, like, the, Velvet, the uh, Scarlet Knight, which sounds like something really bad is going to happen, so... And so either the, the dogs are freaked out because they feel like something's gonna happen or like the Scarlet Knight is just like bad in general. If, if seven years ago is when our sister died, you would think they'd be a little more concerned about that night coming up. And also how did Luffy get past these boars? Oh, shiny. Oh, do we find him? Oh shit. Fluffy. Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... Flowers, probably. I get it. You're right. 
I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. What did he buy, though? Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. I wonder... They didn't say what he bought at the, the merchant. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Is he... In, he's Remember not... Remember how oh. we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Celica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure. And wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Okay. I'm guessing that uh, we'll find some at the coast then when we get there. Hopefully nothing bad happens. I'm still waiting for it. Like, come on. There's so much build up here. Something bad's gonna happen. Especially because we saw Velvet, like, in, like, a prison. All fucked up with a demon arm already, so... Something is gonna go down here. Wait, okay. Not bad. Any more? Nope, there's a shiny here. Some more comfrey? Yep. Whatever that is. So we're not an exorcist, but we're shooting a fire blade out. Isn't that like a... Wouldn't that be like an exorcist power? Like, we're using arts. I guess, like, most of them are just fighting techniques, right? But, like, that one in particular seems like it would be a, a magic ability, which is similar to what Arthur did when he fought, fired the fireball. Is that all? All right, that rock is still there. We're gonna go ahead and save just in case something crazy happens up here. Uh, just look at all these. Oh, uh, wonder if they planted more. This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally <clears throat> different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. This kid's way too nice. Something bad is definitely gonna happen to him. What is that? Is the eagle? Hey, Luffy. Do you yeah. know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to. Oh, oh shit. Oh, great. Why is he all armored up? Luffy set, run! 
No matter how much it hurts. Run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. Is it a boss fight? You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! No. Alright, here we go. I think. Why is it deep yeah. here? I think it would be. Oh wait, we're not hurting it. Wait, we're not hurting it. Is it killing itself? What's happening? Oh, we're out of a uh, soul gauge. Oh. Oh. Okay, that didn't go very well for her. Oh god. No, 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 no. Arthur's gonna show back up, surely. Oh my god! Oh, he bought us a comb. Okay, so that's what he bought at the merchant, the comb we wanted. This is gonna be fucked. Is this why? Uh, you should probably turn around. Oh, did Arthur show up? Okay, yeah. It's not gone yet, Sloggy. It wasn't supposed to be gone until the 20th. The Venti banner. Also, what's up? How... How did I get home? Velvet! Fluffy, you're all right. Uh, sorry, it's all my fault. Yo, no. if he's sick, he got slapped right. hard. I'm surprised he got back no up. Telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. Is she dreaming this right now? So Sloggy, I said that the Velvet Venti banner, it was there earlier today. The world where my sister can be happy. It looked like they were changing it um, on the 20th, but I could be wrong. Yeah, because like as of like 3 o'clock it was there. Um, but they might have done an update or something like that. <laughs> so was that a dream? I guess then? Like the, the last right? part, yeah. What's going was that was it all a dream? Really? Wow. So they must have got, it must no, have went away. It wasn't. Like within the last like six hours then. Okay, so we got a comb from Lafacette. I think that's just a, like a key item. Um He's not in his room though. That book also, look at that book. It's very uh Oh god, the music's bad though. Hold on. What the fuck? They're just... Are, are we getting invaded right now? Ooh, wait, are the villagers turning? What's happening? That's, I bet that's, what, that's what happened. Oh, great. Hold on one second, guys. Can I pause the game? All right, let's, let's uh, do... Getting, getting spammed over here. Let's, let's do a little, uh, little ban action. Goodbye. And then also you get out of here. Boom. Fake accounts. All right. Back to what the important stuff. Maybe. There we go. All right. Oh, God. No, oh God. It's chasing me. Did I fight it? I feel like that's a bad idea. They look tinier than the other ones, though. I'm going to walk away. I think it's the villagers. Oh, she. I have to find Luffy. Do I? Uh, we probably shouldn't try to fight here. I'm. Oh my God. Oh no. Okay. Uh. No. The village. Um. Everyone is dead. Okay. So that, like I said, I I thought things were gonna escalate quickly, and they did. Um. 
Why was Arthur not here protecting it, I wonder? Because he's probably evil. Oh, wait. oh shit, was I supposed to go down there? No, that's just showing home, I think. It's just fine, Loffy, right? I'm going I'm gonna go back in the woods. Um Don't give up. Never give up. Can I get past these guys? Yes, I can. Okay. If they wanted me to fight them, I feel like they would catch me. And they're not catching me, so. Yeah, I guarantee Arthur's here with Loffy and he's like dead or something. I don't remember exactly what happens here, but I knew that, that it's not good. I know that it's not good. Save. I wonder if I wasted a bunch of XP by not fighting those things. Let's check. Let's, let's just uh, we we have a save, so let's try to let's try to fight one real quick. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh. Oh, it's a tutorial on how to retreat. Oh. Okay. So we're not supposed to fight those things then. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, that looks bad. Oh, seriously? Is he going to kill the kid? I, I don't remember what happens with Luffy. It just, uh, that's like the same scene from seven years ago in the first cutscene. Velvet! You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Luffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? Oh, no. I don't think he is. One more sentiment to cast off. Why are you killing all your family members, you fucking crazy Velvet, person? Run! What the fuck? Oh shit! What's up, RP? Wait, did he let her on fire? Once was the seal to the underworld broken, and tonight, fear shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucas's life as a sacrifice. Oh no! Oh no! This motherfucker did it last time too, I bet. Cut him in half. What the fuck? Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you have not changed. Ever a slave to emotion. I don't remember this RP. Did he, wait, did he cut my hand off? I think he does cut your hand off here because you have the, the demon claw. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? I Oh This animation's sick.
Did it also eat velvet? So he released whatever that was, right? Is that what's going on here? Oh, there's Velvet right there. Okay, now we have the demon arm. That makes sense. I mean, I don't know why we have it, but he cut our other hand off. And now we have a demon arm. I'm guessing whatever that thing was that blew up gave us that. Oh, we, we about to fight him. Dude, the anim the anime part of this, the, like the anime cutscenes are badass. All right, she sucks him out. That's where she gets her juice from. A demon that feeds on demons. Atherian. Atherian, okay. So, so we are Atherian now. Are we fighting? We are. Okay, so I remember in like later on in the game, like this ability right here, when you get the demon claw, it's like um, a special mode you go into, I'm pretty sure. It's the villagers, I think. Yeah, yeah. They became demons. Right, right, right. So I think that reverts people back whenever they whenever she drains them. Maybe. Light has spread through the village. Do not fear. With my power as an exorcist. I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. This dude's fucked. Oh, we're on fire? And then we're not. Wait, what the fuck is... Oh, it's his, um... That was what he was talking to earlier. That girl. I think those are Malachi, I think they're called. Is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. Artorius! Oh, his name's Artorius, not Arthur. Well, that's his full name, I guess. So what did he do? He stabbed us, we didn't die? I will... I will... make you pay! So this is the prison we were in, at, in the first cutscene. Hey, we leveled up! Alright, on lower battle difficulties, enemies attack less frequently and win with less force, making them easier to defeat. But on higher difficulties, but higher difficulties offer benefits to improve item dust from enemies and some special ally. And also adds some effect of potentite. Only activate on certain difficulty levels. What is a potentite? You can change battle difficulty at any time. So we're on moderate right now. So, so did my we'll see how it goes. Come to an end. And for three long years. Ooh, lion demon. I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. All right, so she's 20 now. Or, I'm sorry, 19, because she was 16 when the first events happened. Devouring demons. So who's putting the demons in here, I wonder? 
so I could live. Are they like so I could live long enough to kill him? Are they wandering in or what? And be my brother's vengeance. I wouldn't go that far, RP. It's been a while. Like I said, I, I it was over a year and a half ago. And I never fully like fleshed out the combat system when I played it then. But I, I only got like 20 or so hours in. So I, I didn't really remember what happened in the village. I do remember part of the prison sequence. That's Saris. So she's, I believe she is Arthur's Malachi, I think it's called. Or it's a Malak, maybe it's Malak, not Malachi. Oh, she lit her on fire. Where is he? First, there will be a test. Oh, fuck. Are we fighting? It will decide if you are worth teaching. Uh, okay. So using LB and the stick allows you to shift movement to the target. What does that mean? Oh, we already did this before. Oh, okay. Hold on. Um, okay. If you tilt the L stick while defending with LB, you'll perform a quick step. Quick stepping expends a small amount of SG to dash in the direction pressed and can even be performed during a combo. So if you perform it... A quick step just before enemy attacks, the attack will only do one damage and will recover some SG. Okay, so it's like a counter almost. Wait, did it reset my combos? Hey. It did. Oh, is that all you do? I want to counter you. Oh, that didn't work. There, I got it that time. Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. I wonder... I don't of course his Moloch would never be so weak as that I am his Moloch no longer oh. first let me tell you what has transpired these past three years yeah her look how long her hair is there are exorcists now throughout the land challenging the reign of demons with the help of tell me tell me where Artorius is you may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. We probably should find that out. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended. And with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Oh, okay. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. That's fucked. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Indeed, but his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place and I'll explain. All right. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. Oh, okay. There's like a like a magic trip wires up there. I have shattered your yoke 
We must hurry. That's a weird way to say it. Um, TZ, there were a bunch of bot spammers. Well, two of them um, in chat. So I made them go away. All right, so we got Prodigy's Glacite. Provides the ability for equipment to trigger a random skill that I did not read the whole thing, but it's fine. Uh, okay. So, martial arts. So, Velvet's battle abilities. Martial arts are swift kicks. Hidden arts are vicious stabbing attacks. Using Velvet's quick martial arts to chain into hidden arts is a dependable tactic, but also the elemental attributes on our hidden arts also make them well suited for opening combos. Okay, that's our... All right, can we... Um... Oh, we can't do anything right now? We're in Titania, the island prison. Also a summon in Final Fantasy. All right, we can't we can't touch our inventory yet. So should we explore the cells here? The ones that have stuff in them. Does that mean I'm a legit streamer now? No, I actually saw some stuff on Twitter about a lot like a lot of like everyone from like the most popular streamer to the smallest like small channels getting uh, bot spams. So I'm not special. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. Okay, where's it at? I wonder what you do, you do with these coins we keep finding. I wonder if you trade them for gold. Gold. It's not gold. It's gold in this game. No, we can't be special, Sloggy. I'm sorry. Not yet. Maybe, maybe one day we can be special. All right. Weapon room. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. Okay. Oh, there. Did she knock them out or kill them? Probably knocked them out because we can't run over them. Looks like they kept prisoner's effects in here. Rope, this will be useful. Agreed. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl, what is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. Good point, um, but I know who that goes to. And not sure, not sure exactly how she made this outfit either. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Oh, all right. Is that an exorcist knight? It is a long sword orderly. Okay, just a basic soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Oh, now we have our abilities back. Hey. Oh shit, okay. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Why do they demons lock them up? Lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. All right, let's see. I think we have some customizable stuff we can do now. Fashion. Oh, okay, we don't. Never mind. A costume. We can do villager or prisoner or the uh, regular outfit. So an outfit pieced together in prison and selected for ease of movement. So we're going to use that. But all I like, uh, that's just weird looking. Like the hat style on her. Like what What the fuck is that? We're, we're going to go with the uh, the villager style hair. Because this looks kind of kind of weird to me. That's cleaner. All right. I think that the uh, the hairstyle persists through uh, 
cutscenes too, but I don't. But it might not. I don't. I don't remember exactly if it does or not. Um, is that? Are we, can we not go this way? Is that why it's um got the red diamonds around it? No, it won't open. Oh wait, is she in our party? No. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if there, if we know how many there are in each area or something like that, so we can collect all of them. So I'm guessing you get something good for doing that. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. Are we going to use it? But it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Oh, I thought they were like, I didn't think they Stay were actual sure. exorcists. The threat could be serious. Yes, yes sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? Don't break time. They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. All right, let's break some demons out. Uh, which we came from that way, right? Okay, let's go over this way first. I'm guessing the star is the correct path. Oh, wait a second. No, we were down here already, I think. Never mind. Alright, to the star we go. Right. Who in the blazes are you? Oh, battle. Okay, well, what are we doing here? RB lets you see information on current targets. We knew that already. So it's weak to nothing. They're both weak to nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, you can hold RB to pause the battle and see information on the current target. Um, all right, easy enough. Oh wait, we want to do one of these. Should do it. Oh, all right. Sarah's got the last attack, and apparently, all right. Holding RB and pressing B will bring up your enemy book information on the target. Ah, okay.
Oh god. How are we gonna break the seals? Okay, so it seems like some demons aren't like in a frenzy then. Like the ones the village were. And rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior. I don't remember if, who those people are. Force you. You want to rot in here? Then rot. I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. like us are always I'm up for I'm sick a of the slop they feed us. Serious. Open all the doors! That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool. I mean, they're better off than they were five minutes ago, so... It's really not that fucked up. Um, let's explore, though. And see if there's any, uh, goodies over here. Alright, there's one. Flip the copper coin. I'm guessing these guys don't want to break out then. Okay. Ooh. What do we got here? Battle boots. Are those better than my current boots? Oh, these have a random skill. They have maximum HP. Wait, did I put them on? Yeah, I did. All right, we'll go down here and then we'll go over to the exclamation, the exclamation point last. Melchior, this is in Chrono Trigger. What's up, Cookie? I never played Chrono Trigger, so I don't know who that is. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, sleeping, okay. That's one game that's always been on my list that I really needed to cover at some point or another. I know, everyone that I've ever talked to or heard about it from always said they love it, so I, I definitely have to play it at some point. It, there's Chrono Trigger, then Chrono Cross is the is the sequel, correct? Nothing there. There's a oh, it's a little imp thing. Okay, hold on. Oh yes, sort of. Okay, is it not that straightforward then? You're not going to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the Abbey joined forces with the Kingdom of Midgand. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Malachim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorias with me. So, why, I wonder why these demons are, like, sensible. Like, they, they, they're having a conversation with us, whereas the other ones... I wonder if it had something to do with the Scarlet Moon or whatever, and they were, like, blood-crazed or something like that. So Chrono Cross isn't the game people wanted or thought it should have been, so it gets a lot of shit. That sounds like most, um... Because isn't Chrono Trigger a Square Enix title? Most of their sequels always get shit. People usually don't receive them very well. Um, I would, I would obviously start with Chrono Trigger first and try that out. I heard the remaster wasn't that good, so I'd have to try an older version of it. Dear me, not a word of apology? 
Uh, this is one of our party members, I believe. Grimy prison cell. <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling oh, well. she's rhyming. <laughs> and you are? Hooray! You asked. I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise oh, God. who traveled the eleven seas. It is a belt of books, Cookie. We'll stick with Magi Lu. You would think, Cookie, I agree. You'll never understand. People can be so tragically unlearned. But hey, like I care. She has super long hair, too. Okay, so she definitely joins our party at some point, but I don't think it's till a little bit later. So we came out of that door, right? So can we explore this way? No, okay, this is the door we came out of then. Dude's freaking jacked. Tiger, tiger demon over there. All right, anything good? Maybe over, oh, there we go, shiny. Nope, not him. I, I, really, I, I don't really care about the shinies. I'm more concerned about missing um, any of the chests because we might get some good gear from them or something. All right, nothing down here, it looks like. One more path to go and we're good. Oh yeah, she kind of does. That's that's a good point, Cookie. She has she, like a classic evil villain. Um, she's super edgy. So she wasn't edgy. Um, I don't know if you saw what happened uh, like 25 minutes ago. So she got real fucked up. Like mentally twisted a little bit based off the events that occurred. So I'm assuming that's why she wants to dress all edgy now. It says, if you look at the description for it, it says she the outfit is for uh, ease of movement though. So we'll go with that. Oh. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. All right, so it looks like if you have a Malachim tethered to you, you can use magical abilities then. All right, herbs that increase characters' parameters grow in various places in the world. They grow back in time after you collect them, so use them freely on your characters. Okay, this is like a free buff to our characters, I believe. So if we go here and go to Sage, it is a herb that raises max HP by 10. So now we have 670 as opposed to 660 HP. And you find those all over the world, and apparently they regrow, so I don't think you can come back to this area, but areas you can return to, you can collect more of them. But yeah, people who have Malachim tethered to them have magical abilities, then it looks like. And if you don't, you're just a regular person. And I'm guessing also, if you have magical abilities, but you have no Malachim tethered to you, you're a demon. I don't want to go the right way, but I'm not sure. This is probably the right way, knowing my luck. Oh no, we're back here again. All right, well, let's save real quick. Go back here and go the other path now. So this is the only direction left to go. So hopefully this is the right way to go. 
All right, this looks promising. All right, well, there's a save point. That's, that usually means uh, you're going the right way. So we got a void ring. Let's see what that does. All right, so void ring, ring that reduces damage from non-elemental attacks. And that also gives us focus plus five, whereas this just gets arch defense plus five. Let's put this on. I guess we'll save again. It's instant, so it's really not a big deal. All right, here we go. Something's gonna. Happen. I think we uh, we uh, meet our our samurai boy now. Yep. More. This one. He's a demon. Get ready. All right, red-eyed swordsman. Let's do it. Ow. You're not human. Neither are you. <laughs> True enough. So his voice sounds like Bond from Seven Deadly Sins. I wonder if it actually is his voice actor. Chips and the blades already. Huh. Brittle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? <laughs> Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. Oh shit, we didn't take it with us? He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. All right, let's go. Oh, we got a sharpshooter's vent ventite also. Enable snipe charge in battle after guarding for a set amount of time. Paying certain items grants charge ability to the guard command. With the sharpshooter ventite, snipe charge, maintain a guard for one second to double the chances of inflicting stun. Okay, what? wait, how do we equip that though? Is that like, I don't know how that works, you know? Do we like need to do something for arts? Maybe is there like modifiers you put on things? I don't know what Ventite does yet. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal right now. Am I going backwards? No, I'm not. The fuck is this dude? No, I I freed you, pig demon. All right, whatever. Fuck you. Let's do it. Oh, they're orcs, not pigs. Oh, they don't like fire. Or, uh, yeah. Nope, defender. Oh, shit. Oh, she healed me. You believe they're the same voice actor, Cookie? Yeah, they they sure sounded like they were the same voice actor. We're finished here. Let's hurry on. All right, the number of attacks and quips are first. Souls possessed. Oh, so you can do up to five then. So in addition, arts receive a bonus based on the number of times a different art have been, has been performed. Oh, right, right, right. So if you look at the uh, the arts in the bottom right, so times used. So the more you use them, the the, the uh the less soul gauge they burn. Okay. Uh, let's go. Is it this button? Yeah. So what does green mean? Does that mean like side path? They've got the gate to the docks locked down. We can't. Rokuru Rangetsu. That that name sounds familiar. RP. Um. What is that? What is that? <laughs> the tower should be just ahead. Oh, no. Could that demon be 
What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. Just explain. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. Oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. Oh, I don't remember RP if that's the name of the samurai or not. Uh, whenever he joins our party, I'll know. Which I think he does just about kind of soonish. You won't be getting away. Oh, alright. I need like a big AoE attack of some sort. Is he also is that person also Bond's voice actor RP? From Seven Deadly Sins. You gotta be quick with those dodges. You wanna time it up, right? Come on, really? Okay, yeah, that's that's probably who it is then, RP. Because they sound exactly the same. The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. Okay. Yeah, Bond from Seven Deadly Sins. I thought we needed to go underneath the watchtower. How do we get down to the boat? <laughs> they are the same, confirmed. Yeah. The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Nope. Oh, all right. Demon arm time. Wait. You're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. <gasps> oh no, okay, that didn't... Okay, it kind of worked then. Are we okay? No broken bones? Apparently not. We have that demon calcium. Yeah. I see you were truly committed to this. Couldn't she have just teleported us? Oh, we dislocated our shoulder, okay. You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power, but the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am She's not wrong. That is why I chose you. I I really want to know why she decided to uh, bail on Arthur. Let's hurry on. She stole my kill right there for the record. Ooh, we got we got another we got a verbania? Verbina? Defense plus two. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. Let's hope so. We're almost there. That's enough. Oh, great. I do awesome. remember this guy. I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. 
You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No. I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. You can tell he doesn't have a helmet on. Subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. Not a good idea. I'm Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is then. Hey, that wasn't very nice. I don't like how their uh, their swords are square. <laughs> square on the end. Dude, do you want to kill these guys first? Ooh. Uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, he's down. Oh, we got healed. Oh no, he's gonna. Okay, he didn't. He didn't stagger us. Uh, wait, how do we use items? Oh. Oh, there's a cooldown item usage, too. Good to know. I, I said dodge, not dodge into him. It is hard to do a stab it with a square tip sword, I agree. I wanna counter him once. You're skilled. I will have to expend a Moloko to Wait, for this. So they kill them? The power up? Is he suiciding right now? Oh my god. More of your vaunted reason. Oh, it's gonna turn into a demon. Oh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Okay, it's a big demon. With demon blight? Oh my god. Holy shit. I was gonna fuck him up. Ah, he deserved that. Am I gonna have to fight this thing? Oh shit. She dead now, probably. My wounds are fatal. Please consume me. Oh, that's a weird thing to say. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lafayette's. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry, before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. Are one and the same. 
<laughs> I treasured those days. <laughs> when you and I... <laughs> and Arthur were... <laughs> Together. Wait, is that Celica? Was that our sister? Did Arthur turn her into one? She popped her head. I oh, know she just okay, she just absorbed it. Oh wait. Oh, she was just always there, okay. I know, Cookie, we can't do that, sadly. We can't teleport and use fireball. It's, I don't think you absorb their powers, necessarily. That would be cool, though, if it worked that way. I mean, we can kind of already shoot a fireball with one of our abilities. What is happening? Like a fire spinning ability thing. Move if you don't. I'll eat you. <laughs> Weird flex, but all right. Okay, battle tutorial. The sorcerer's ring obtained from devouring Cirrus enables you now to use break souls. Uh, right trigger. Oh, okay. So once they have been unlocked for a character, these powerful arts can be unleashed by holding RT while controlling these three or more souls. Such power comes with a cost. The character loses one soul and their target gains one soul. These attacks ignore combo limits and can be used to open combos, allowing for chains that exceed the number of souls currently held. Oh, wait. Shit, we're like in a mode now. Oh, we're no longer in the mode. Okay. There we go. I need to stun him. Oh. There we go. Okay, so we get, we, we get like a special combo ender whenever we do that then. And we can probably set that as well, I think. Oh, it might be- it's- okay, hold on. I think I- I think I, I remember how that works now. After this cutscene, I'll talk about it. Oh, what a fucking asshole. Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow. And I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! Oh shit! I feel like he's going to be a recurring boss. Oh, finally some place that might not be a death trap. When we tumbled from the tower, I thought, this is it, Moggy Lou. This is the end. It would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Stormhowl is back in my care.
Rokurodan gets it. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. I think we have a party now. So I think that your ability they use there, like it said Dragon Theronized, I think it changes based off the enemy you use it on. But I could be wrong. I th but that, that seemed how it was working in that fight there. Provides the ability for equipment to trigger random skills which restore HP. If your soul gauge is already full and you're about to defeat an enemy, you can finish off your foe with a break soul essentially for free as you will regain the soul that you spend. Oh, okay, cool. And you heal yourself. And status elements. So Velvet has a uh, consuming claw. So these skills are always on a piece of equipment. Each piece of equipment has a proficiency value that will increase based on the grade earned from battle. Upon reaching maximum proficiency, a character will permanently learn the equipment's master skill, enabling you to strengthen characters by equipping them with different items. Okay, so kind of like how Final Fantasy Tactic Advance worked, like you'd put an item on and master a skill on it, and then you'd get the skill. If a character wears a piece of equipment containing an already mastered skill, the skill's effect will be doubled. Okay. I need to remember all of that, so we'll see if I do. <sighs> Guess the weather's feeling as crummy as I am. Careful. Sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Huh? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Well... Guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Artorius. At some point, I'm sure we'll make it there. Not for a while, though. All right, now what? Oh, we, we crashed, it looks like. Right? Yeah, we did. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, okay. This is kind of confusing. Luffy said... Malak. So I did remember this. That looks like Luffy. Ah! Oh, it's a bird with him, too. All right. Weird flex. Ow. So I have theories. I didn't get far enough into the game to know if the theories were true or not. But I'll, I'll, I'll talk about them here in a second. So now we have winged, winged, winged Theronize. We get Laughing Raven for this one. That's cool. I like that. You really are a box of horrors, aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, uh, nah, I can't use this. <laughs> Sorry. Long story. He'd be a lot more badass if he could use it. A little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I don't know why he can't can use a cookie. I can off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? I'm guessing you'll find out eventually, though. Well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? It looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, We've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? 
Something worth breaking out of prison for. <laughs> oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Hellebees nearby. I can't promise there much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. Okay, so I, I also agree, Cookie. I think there might be a plot point where he gets to use the sword. Um, the stabbing blade inlaid with amber, very easy to handle. Ooh. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. How to level up. Uh, okay, so you can open the world map by pressing Y while in the area. The map is open, allowing you to view how regions are connected. Okay, so my theory is... Ceres, I think, looked like Celica, our sister who died at the beginning. And then, obviously, the little dude right there looked like Lafayette, our brother who died right before shit went hit the fan. Or right when shit hit the fan. So I'm thinking whatever Arthur did also turned them into Moloch's, which he is now, or something like that. I don't know though. That's my theory. Um. All right. So this is HP recovery on foes plus thirty. This is attack plus five. Uh, we let's master this, then we'll put that on. And then do we get something else? I don't. Oh, this is like uh. Let's let's ma we'll max that out first. And then arts, we have swallow dance now, which is an air attack. It's good against winged enemies. So, all right, that's fine. It's it's on it's on it's on a bar. So that's the the important part there. Um, let's well, let's swap that out with swallow dance. Also, I seem to be pressing B a lot. All right, let's go ahead and save. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to the bathroom. All right, back to it. So we're gonna go to Heloise. Helloise, I think that's what they called it. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. <laughs> I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. You didn't hear the sink running? What are you talking about, RP? Oh, we have another uh, conversation to have. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You <laughs> wound me. You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement. Your words cut deeper than these northern winds. 
Um, so how do we know if you washed your hands because you couldn't hear the sink? I mean, you'll have to take my word for it that I did. Oh, that's a good point. I wonder if she feels anything anymore. Alright, so we go B for, for Swallow Dance. That does bonus damage to flying enemies. Dude, I'm so happy that everything's voice acted in this game. Um, every conversation you're supposed to have is, as far as I know. So. Alright, you know what? Fuck these guys. All right, each attack art comes with a chance to inflict additional effects. A good example is Stun, which is which when triggered will steal a soul from enemy and leave them dazed. All right, pick our oh, Orc Boy. Let's do it. Dude, I like I like the problem is most of the games that I thoroughly enjoy, like the older ones at least, none of them have voice acting in them, and. It's like, I don't know. It, it's hard to read them on stream sometimes. I don't know. Come on, really? Like you stumble over one word and you get stuck. Like it's just a, a lot of uh, reading aloud. I don't mind it. It just it uh, it, it uh takes a toll when you're doing it for a couple hours. There we go. So it's nice to play newer games that are voice acted. More that's all I'm really saying. Come on, really. Was there someone behind me? There was. It's always funny when I go back and play ga older games, and um, like whenever you play them by yourself, obviously you're like reading, reading them internally, and then like you say the names a certain way, and then you go to say them in real life, and like it, it doesn't sound right when you say it. It's just a weird thing that happens. It seems with me at least. Battle boots. Oh, we do we master our battle boots? Is that what happened there? Oh, we did. Okay, cool. Those are still the better ones. So we had uh, this is also mastered. So let's put this on now. And what is this? What, okay, what does this mean to level character level to level to forty to get that? Multiplies martial arts damage by one point two, but hidden arts damage by point eight. All right, let's that's that's let's not do that right now. I'm not because that, that I think you change those based off like kind of the build you're gonna do with the character. So this is increased art attack by two, and you use primarily what are those arts? Those aren't arts though, right? Uh, no, they might be. Oh, I don't know. So if I remember correctly, Velvet is the most fun character to play that I remember. Uh, um, so we're probably gonna spend most of the herbs on her. So many enemies! Come on, really? So nice to be free again. Able to move these bones around like I want. So, Rokuro, what got you all chained up in that mold hole? Ties to home. It's complicated. Oh, -ho -ho! then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. Pay what you owe. 
Well, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. Damn. That's why I know so little about the state. Oh, so are we. Oh, gosh, me too. Art wielding Malakim. I've never seen such a thing. How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this will do to business? Should I even ask why you were imprisoned? <laughs> <laughs> Begged for unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale of betrayal most wicked and foul. <clears throat> Care to hear more? You'll cry. I'll laugh. Emotions will touch the rafters. No, thank you. How do I decide on which games I play next? Um. So. Well, for like the co-op games, me and RP kind of just sit down and talk about it and, and figure out what, whatever, you know, tickles our fancy at the time. But like for me, um, I like just like usually whenever I'm playing through a different game, like when I was playing Genshin Impact, um, actually way back when I was playing, what did we play before Genshin Impact? What the hell was it? What did we just finish? Why am I, why am I forgetting what, what game we just finished? Hold on. Let me think for a second. Um, dude, what was it? Um, oh my god, I have no idea what I played before Genshin Impact now. What the fuck was it? Does anybody know what I played before Genshin Impact? I'm like drawing a complete blank for some reason. Come on, really? Oh, right. So when I was playing uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Advance, that's right, wow. Um, I just got like the urge to return to Tales of Berseria because like I said, I started it a long time ago and that's usually how it goes for most games like um, I was uh, li like looking at what games are out or what I have in my Steam library and just go off that But there's not really any kind of process I just like a certain type of game for th that I like to play on the channel which is usually like JRPG type stuff So I just pull from that 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 category usually whatever like is interesting at that time like i've always i've always wanted to finish this game so that's why we're playing it now Can we jump across there uh there's what does that mean we have question marks oh wait was there an action button there Oh no, we can't do it right now. But yeah, I don't really have a set process for it. Like, like, like RP, like... Well, yeah, we, we found one RP. I just saw what you said there about uh, the next co-op game. But we usually just like look up what co-op titles are available that we haven't played yet and pick one that looks fun. The For for the other games we play on the channel, uh, it's usually pretty easy though, because I like, I, I, like I said before, I've started the channel wanting to play the Final Fantasy games. So usually I just pick games that are kind of like offshoots from that 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 series. Like like Tales is another really popular um, JRPG series. So it kind of fits within like the type of games that we normally cover. Oh no, I'm in so much trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out? Meow. Oh look, another weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? <laughs> Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you. They look like this. Oh shit. Okay. It's just like what I found at Titania. Perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles too. That's just foolish. Really? Then how about kitty clumps? There's a fish on his tail. Anyway, one night we were having a feast mm. so meowvelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That's why I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emeowsipate my friends. Emeowsipate? Really? <laughs> it means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats' boxes like these here. Meowvelous. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? Apesipate. Apesipate. This one would be Edoxipate. Edoxipate. I'm free, meow. Yowsipate. See? Emusipate. By that logic, shouldn't it be Ecatsipate? Oh. Wow, you're way more clever than you look. For real. I guess I For totally real. underestimated you. Please, <laughs> our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them. Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor Kloss brothers and sisters. They're Kloss brothers. And why should I? Please, think of the cats. You know, cats have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our debt. We'll make it worth your while, I promise. And if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. That has been known to happen. Ew. I wish they had noses. <laughs> if we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. So, the, so that's our overarching collectible quest. All right. So these essences drifting through the world are like souls to the cats people. You can collect them simply by touching them. You'll need these spirits to open the cats boxes found around the world. Uh, these special treasure chests can be opened with cat spirits you've gathered. Opening a cat's box will free the cats trapped inside, some of whom will give you a gift of catitude. I mean, gratitude. Alright, cool. Those are gone now, though. Alright, I think we're done exploring this little area right here. That's probably not the right way to go in. Well, that's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I I apologize about earlier. Same voice as Loppy. Didn't mean to steal this. The compass. That has to be what it is. Somehow Laffy and 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 Selica, who was Saris, got no, turned into. He could be working for the Exorcist. Got turned into Malak Malakim. Hmm. Is he your dessert? If necessary. Obviously, he's not. We got the compass back though. He must have gone this way. All right, we have to go explore this little side area. Oh, can we climb. We can. Oh, an herb. What is it? It is some sage. So we will use that on velvet and give her some more health. And we are not going to jump down here because we're not supposed to go that way right now. I know we definitely explore that area right there, so we'll, we'll cover it when we get there. We've made it to a save point. We're on the Figal Ice Caps. Oh, we're in the city already. I think. Yeah. We're like in a storeroom. A storehouse? <laughs> that smell. Flamestone. Flamestone? Also known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives! Mix it with oil and you get fuel. Sounds dangerous, if it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor, if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse! We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. <laughs> nope, not an option. 
So RP, so Tales of Symphonia, which, um, what console was that for? What generation was that? Or gold? I wonder why games always have to name their currency such weird things. Like, why not just gold? Oh, chest. Oh, a silver chest, too. Got a fire ring. Let's see what that probably indicates fire damage. So, fire type damage reduced by 4%. Oh, and attack plus 5. So, let's master the void ring first, then put that on. If I remember correctly, you get like end up getting a lot of gear in this game and it's like overwhelming. So it's for GameCube. It's also on Steam. Okay. So I watched a full Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia um, probably about a year ago or so. That game also is really cool. It came out, it came out for, I think, Xbox 360, I want to say was the generation that was. But it's also out on the Switch now and it's also on Steam. So that's another very good Tales game if you're thinking about picking one up. Very, very long. Very, very long game. Much longer than this one's going to be. And the combat is, I believe it gets a little bit harder than this game. Oh, you actually have a cookie. Yeah, so I've heard really good. I well, I've watched the Let's Play of it, so I know it's really good. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. If you're liking, uh, so I believe it's a little more in-depth than this game is. When I grow up, I'm going to be an exorcist. Me too. I want to protect my mommy and daddy. Hold up. Exorcists are warriors who protect the whole world from demons. You can't just protect your parents. You've got to protect everyone. Oh, that sounds really hard. Yeah, RP Vesperia. <laughs> it is. And it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah, exorcists are the best. <laughs> They're treated like heroes. I suppose to normal people, they are. Uh, Yeah, Vesper Vesperia, not Zesteria. It's a Vesperia. Uh, is the one I'm referencing. I've not played. I've not seen Zisteria before, and I believe Berseria is the latest in the series, as of right now. And there's also some Tales mobile games, but I mean, I mean if that interests you, you can always check that out. But My opinion, if you're going to play a mobile game, you should check out uh, Final Fantasy Omni Opera. Omni Opera? I think that's the name of it. That game is very, very good. It's uh, the city of Final Fantasy Omni Opera. Opera, I think that's the actual title of it. It came out about the same time that the city of NT came out. It's a pretty cool little game. It has a pretty good story in it too. And I don't, I don't think I, I never spent any money on it. So I don't think you really need to. So I think we are going to need to explore this town a little bit to try to find all the uh, collectibles here. Uh, we'll probably get caught in a cutscene though, I think. What is this right here first? Oh, it's like a, it's the church. Do you need to go here to res people or something, I wonder? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, it also doesn't look like there's anything to grab here. Okay. Alright, well, cutscene time. Unless there's somewhere else I can go over here. I can go around the cutscene, actually. We'll do that. I don't know if these things respawn, these little cat souls. We know the herbs do. The lavender is increased its uh, art damage. We'll put that on the velvet also. Little secret pathway here. Um, we're not gonna go down. Was there? Well, we'll go down there, but I think there's something over here. Is this like a drop down point? Yeah. 
there anything special? No, we, we just drop straight down. Oh, chest. Oh, was that gold? Blood blade. Oh, it must have been. Okay. Um, equipment. Oh, we're not done with this one yet. So this blood blade has maximum HP plus 30 on it. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not going to use that one right now, though. We'll keep, we're keeping our amber blade on until we max it out. Like I was saying earlier, I do remember at some point in this game, you get like a lot of equipment you have to go through and keep track of. So I'll have to keep a, make a point to keep keep uh, up keep up with all the uh, stuff we pick up. Amber garment. We finish our battle garment is already finished. This what does this do for us? This does attack plus five and maximum HP. So we'll take a def defense hit, but we'll we'll try to max it out. That's fine. Oh, copper coin. All right, let's run back here and drop down. I don't think we missed anything. Oh wait, there's another herb there, but we have to go through the cutscene to get to it. I think, yeah. Oh, there's a cat's chest too. So I'm wondering if we should be spending these orbs as we find the chest, or if we should just like make a note of where they're at and come back later and get them. There's a group of sailors. Is that the guild? Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys, poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? It's true. Oh, okay. Before we do that, let's, uh, what does this require? 15 cat spirits. Oh, I, oh, they give you, uh, um, decorations for your character. So now we can go into fashion and put on a 10 gallon hat or some glasses. Oh, or we could do both. Cowgirl librarian velvet, or how about neither, maybe? And then I'm pretty sure you can buy packs for different, uh, outfits for the characters also. Uh, let's uh, get that herb that is somewhere around here. Oh, we can I not go that way yet. No, we can. Okay. No, nope, no, we can't. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. We need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. Oh, great. Oh, all right. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. They look so regal, but the, but the evil music's playing. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? Uh. Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, Molly. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. Is she checking us out right now? And you, girl. Aren't you cold? Oh, she I think we're getting slut shamed. I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgown was so cold. What? A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. the abbey flexes its muscle hmm cruel cruel world these days i see how things stand if i catch this dial person you can repair my ship right sure but i warn you 
He's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. We'll find a way, I think. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. I don't remember if the navigator we get is a special. Away, darling. Yeah, I, don't, got I don't remember. In the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. Uh, hold on. There's an herb here. We've got some more verbena, which is going to do what for us? It is going to increase our defense. Okay, he's over there. So is this the inn, I'm guessing, with the uh, the moon on it? Let's check back here real quick. Okay, chest, there we go. It'll probably be like a, just something not great. Yeah, amber fragment. Well, we might need those for like weapon customization or something like that, so this could be useful. I don't know what guild this is, or what uh, place this is. What's up, dude? Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand First fare? party member secured. I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? <laughs> I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My pellet has standards. High standards. I don't think she absorbs All humans, though. Like, I, like she she pulls the demon blight out of humans, when, but they die from it, I guess. But but if... Uh... Look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. <laughs> At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. Oh god, hold on, guys. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. 